right, thanks everybody. And welcome to the ASO RNA Rescue um, slide presentation. Uh, we got some results in today and uh, five of the 14 were successful. Andrew K's seem to be the best and we'll check out more of the results later in the forum. Eli Fisker, an, intern an Eterna player, posted an article that puts perspective on the work we have done with ASO gene therapy. Uh, key facts from the article, uh, there are 7,000 rare, rare diseases caused by a single mutation worldwide. There are an estimated 400 million persons living with a rare disease, children making up half of that number. 60 million of them will die before they reach the age of five. A genomic driven personalized medicine was developed for a little girl named Myla that had multiple rare diseases. The gene therapy approach enabled her to walk steps again with her mother's health and greatly improved her quality of life. She died, uh, but the scientists and the mother ASOs, personalized medicine may become in reach for many more people and at a much lower cost than currently is the case. For an ASO to be effective, there are three key, key things needed. The ASO oligo must not want to bind with itself. The ASO oligo should not tend to bind with other copies of itself within a cell or otherwise, demonization. The ASO oligo needs to be placed in the disease's sequence where the oligo will bind to it. Okay, just one sec. Let me get, um, let me change this to presenter view. I'm gonna to have to bring this one thing back up there. Okay, perfect. Sorry. RNA splicing. Understanding how RNA splicing works along with the function of, of important sections of the transcript. For example, the poly track, that's what I like to call it, branch point, exon splicing enhancers, and exon splicing signatures is essential to help design a good ASOs. RNA splicing functions using a complex of proteins known as the spliceosome, consisting of SNRNA, small nuclear RNA, and a number of proteins, SNRNPs, assembling around splice sites. This isn't the only factor in splicing, though. There are other, there are, of course, other parts important in RNA processing. The branch point. Branch point in the transcript at base 142. In the intron, there is a specific adenosine known as the branch point and causes splicing of the RNA by initiating a chemical reaction of the three splice site guanine, cutting it off after the spliceosome cuts the 5 in in the one type of self splicing intron, it reacts with the 5 splice site which then reacts with the three end, then causing the entire intron to be cut out. The polypyrimidine track, this, sequ this sequence consists of mainly uracils with a few cytosines, bases 144 to 181. This helps the pleistocin bind. Its main function is suppressing the expression of exons. U2AF, an essential protein in the spliceosome binds to the, the polytract. Explice, exonic splicing enhancers. Splice enhancers are six nucleotide long sections. SR proteins bind to these sections, which among other things promote splicing. U2AF35 and U2AF2 are extremely important parts of initiating splicing. Binding to the branch point and three splice site and recruiting the U2SN 
RMP. It is thought that the SR proteins help recruit these proteins. SF2 ASF is also important as it helps the plysosome form, splicosome form. The example of intronic splicing enhancer is a repeating CA sequence, which can enlist the protein HNRNPL, affecting splicing at the three end. Exonic splicing silencers. Splicing silencers either inhibit splicing or promote exon skipping. One way they can do this is by letting the HNNRPs bond, which can have various effects. However, this biology is often confusing. The same sequence, such as stretches of G or the CA repeats mentioned earlier, can function as both splicing enhancers and silencers. The tenor player JR went to work after learning ASO illegal. illegos wouldn't be effective if it misphotoed itself and created a puzzle that would test the tenor player's ASO sequences they were designing for the open ASO round one lab. Lab administrator and Turner player, Digital Embrace, mentioned to the community in a forum post that many ASO legos within a cell could also potentially want to bind with others, other with another instead of the targeted area, and we need to, needed a puzzle to, to test this. Turner player JR also made puzzles to test demonization for the open ASO round one labs. Eli made several for the ASO round one project covering the energy prediction models. So here are the uh, dimmer puzzles right here. And then you had we had this other puzzle that helped um, also help um, a helpful puzzle made by Janerson Lee that shows how our ASO puzzle folds without the harmful mutation. I'll get in a little bit more about that later. WC Open ASO Matches Position Spreadsheet. Janerson Lee chopped up the entire puzzle sequence into the complementary 18 character potential LEGO bits and shipped them to Eli Fisker. Janerson Lee, Omi, Omei, and Eli Fisker then made the spreadsheet from these LEGO bits, enabling internal players or laboratories working on other ASO projects to cheaply pre test first before submitting or running them all in a lab. The spreadsheet contains illegal sequences that have tested on the key things needed for a potentially good ASO. Here's a link to the spreadsheet. This is uh, when you open the spreadsheet, this is it here. Let me see my notes. Uh, the two WC Open ASO matches position document, the LEGO screening, row O showing starting positions. That's where the starting position is, where it's going to bind to the LEGO. How to use the LEGO screening document. Row A are the LEGO sequences. You can get down, it's, it's at the bottom here, and you can just slide down to the intro on 15. It starts from the bottom up, from the five to, to the three to the five. Even. Yeah, from the top. Um, the fragments were put in from the top three. Okay, I already said that. Yeah, these have been uh, checked for all key things needed for, okay, sorry. Scroll down to get to the intro on 15 illegal sequences. Pick one that has a gold color in row B. These have been checked for all three things needed for an optimal ASO. So copy a sequence with a gold in row, in row B, one that has gold. Copy the sequence out. 
and then you open the lab and you paste it in. Uh, happy news from our collaborators. Digital Embrace shared Victor's V8 research preprint, rescue of blood coagulation factor, factor eight, exon 16, miss splicing by antisense oligonucleotides. Main point from the paper, we discovered multiple ASOs that enhance splicing of exon 16A33G, figure 2C. Co-transfected of ASO118, ASO3754, ASO572, ASO91-108, or AS469-486, with exon 1633G resulted in st statistically significant increase in exon 16, inclusion relative to its control with no ASO co-transfected. In silico oligo screen with predictive power of good ASO spots. Is silico oligo screen with predictive power of good ASO spots? The most promising ASO landing spots in the WC open matches position document spreadsheet were marked with golden yellow color. The predicted golden intron 15 spots matched pretty well with the in vitro spots where the scientists were able to land their ASOs that covered the splicing F8. Intron 16 wasn't marked because we were asked to focus on 15. However, ASO 469 to 486 is also in an area that is mostly predicted to be open for business. The spreadsheet with the prediction was put up for the researchers before the researchers put their preprint out. What the spreadsheet does, checks the new pack and Vienna if the illegal would self bind. It checks the new pack and Vienna if the illegal de demorize with itself. It checks the new, the new pack and Vienna if the ASO complementary site was predicted to actually bind to the illegal. Basically, it predicts if structure will form either in the illegal itself between two demorized illegals or in the RNA sequence. Self-binding cutoff point. Self-binding KCAL shouldn't be more negative than negative KCAL, plus that the demorization KCAL shouldn't be more negative than negative five. It's an arbitrary set limit. If any of these tests get a very negative KCAL, this means a stable structure is predicted to fold. This, this means bad odds for our ASO. These spots are given a more red color in the spreadsheet. You can see those there. Row one is row I. Row I is the demorization check for new pack, and row D is the test for V2. Anything over 5K guy will not be fed. All right. Um, a higher negative number, note a higher negative number is lower energy. Um, here, row E and, and H showing the self-folding checks for both V2 and NUPAC engines. Both numbers were displayed in the red box as too low of an energy level, being over negative one kcal. Benefit of silico testing. Uh, they're cheaper to pretest in a spreadsheet first instead of running all the ASOs in the lab. A lot of illegos and illego binding sites are beforehand excluded as unlikely, leaving fewer, fewer actual sites to actually probe. The spreadsheet could be automated for the new pack and Vienna predictions, plus updated to fit any sequence. That means any disease. Uh, we wish to work on. Perspective. 
Eterna may have a universal ASO pattern for where to put an ASO, no matter what gene the scientists ship us. If we are given a similar task for a different gene, we can pretty much point out where it is interesting landing an ASO oligo. Potentially, it, if it isn't just a lucky chance, but that is what we would love to see tested. Challenge accepted. Extra filtering level that would be useful. Only direct full ASO matches were tested. No GU, no, no mismatches. This, this gave the strongest possible ASO match, leaving less of a chance for binding elsewhere in the F8 gene or genome. Such a check should be done if one is to make medicine an additional layer of safety. This concludes the part about uh, this. Uh, this concludes the part about the spreadsheet. Uh, we can now slide over to the ASO method portion of this presentation, designing medicine, generating a complementary sequence. To easily create a complementary sequence without going back and forth, you can use a text editor such as Notepad on Windows to write the complementary sequence to regions of interest. Here, bases were selected that the design is, is complementary to, so it's easier to see where it's supposed to bind to. However, this task, complementary illegal gener generation, was already basically completed using the spreadsheet. So for, for a second round, you could just use that. Stapling with ASOs. Much like a common staple, where it's used to keep two parts together. The same goes for stapling RNA with ASOs. Janderson Lee created a puzzle that shows us the shape of the mutated sequence without the actual mutation in new, in new path. Paved way for players to try and recreate the structure by stapling an ASO to two different parts of the RNA. The staples were a novel approach Digital Embraces ASO round one design was successful using the staple. Here's a picture of um, Eli's uh, making the, the new pack shape uh, come together, recreate that. Let's see, what happened to my notes? They seem just to go away. So stapling demonstration, let me open this. And here we have it in, um, in Target. In natural, you can see how it's formed without that mutation here on 334. Let me open up, uh, get back to the slide and open up my other thing. There. Now this is Eli's design that did the staple. Um, to recreate that. It's kind of hard to find his, um, to open it. So let's take this to new pack. And we'll go, and we can see the staple and the recreated, I'll show you again, there it is. And there it is here with the ASO stapled the way it is.
to do different parts, it, it recreated that structure. I can show you real quick. I can do it manually real, real quick here. To show you. Um, paste in the sequence, I'm gonna type it in. The first part that binds to the, uh, that one part of the Lego is G, C, U, 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 G, C. I might need to go caps. And then the, the second part that binds to the other part is U, G, G, U, 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 C, A. So you just press apply. Uh, looks like we need to go back to new packaging. It's not cooperating. Well, let's see if it'll apply now. Okay. Anyways, you saw how Eli's um, design recre recreated it. Um, now we can go to the legal generator. Um, the Turner Player High 1000 created a very helpful tool for the ASO Round 1 Lab. Basically, the tool will generate the Legos that bind to a string in the sequence selected by the, the user. You can walk the generator along the whole sequence, seeing what shape each binding makes. Uh, here it is at the uh, paste bin. You just, you just copy it out. Go into Dev Tools, More Tools. There's things in my way again. Uh, th then you go to Developer Tools and you just paste it in, paste the script in the console. Thanks. Thanks to Eli Fisher, Fisker, and Hi100 for helping develop this presentation.